Have you ever wondered why some videos look so professional, why others look a bit off? Well, the secret is how colored are being handled in the post-production in the behind the scene. In this video, I'll be breaking down these three key steps, color correction, color grading, and color matching. Color correction is simply adjusting the colors of your videos to look real. Yes, adjusting just the brightness, the contrast, white balance, and all that. There is an AI feature of color correction in CapCut. This one is on your mobile phone, so you don't have any excuse. So let's go to cap course right now. Okay, this is our cap course. I'll click on new project to add the footage that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So this is the footage and this footage was shot on a, a log. First, I'm going to use the AI feature of color correction. Okay, so I'll click on the clip and then adjust. And then I'll click on adjust. So you can see this option color correction. But mind you, if you're not in the pro version of CapCut, you might not be able to use this feature color correction okay but if you still want to get the CapCut pro for free i'll be dropping my number in the comment section so that you can interact on whatsapp and i will send this application to you okay so i'll first try this ai feature of color correction then i, I will still teach how they were able to achieve that okay so i'll click on it you can see it have already color correct this footage remember what i told you guys in the beginning that color correction is simply adjusting the footage to look natural to look real okay so that is color correction so this is the ai feature of color correction you can see how it looks like now let's compare okay you can see how it looks okay so let's adjust this manually so that you can know how they were able to get this okay so first thing is contrast you increase the contrast a little bit a little bit the brightness you can increase or decrease the brightness okay then the such then the saturation a little bit okay this clip right now is on its normal mode and also i can choose to increase the white balance or uh, the black the black balance okay now it's on its normal mode this is what is called color correction okay I've collected this footage to look natural okay let's compare it so you will understand what I'm actually doing right now okay this was how it was before okay and this is how it is after the color correction you can see the difference okay so this is all for color correction so let's move on to color grading I told you guys in the beginning that we are going to be looking at these three key steps color correction color grading and color matching so we have done the color correction already you can see how it looks like then we are going to color grade this video right now remember what i said about color grading color grading is simply adding modes to your footage like maybe this footage was shot in the daytime i can choose to adjust this so that it will look like it was shot in the night time I can choose to adjust it so that it will look like it was shot on in a blue lens or something like that that is color grading okay so watch me as i color grade this particular video right now so color grading creates a specific mode yeah when you shot your videos maybe on a sun you want to reduce the sun to make it let it be a bit evening on all that that is color grading so let's open our cup course right now to color grade one footage so you see what i'm talking about i'll click on adjust where is this where is it okay this is adjust and i'm going to color grade this footage right now and the first place i'm going to look at is hsl so i'll click on hsl and i'm going to look at the key colors here okay you can see the key color here is mainly blue i think yeah blue so i'm going to locate the kind of blue and i'm going to maybe increase the home the saturation a little bit and then i can choose to dim it okay now what's the next color maybe this other blue i can choose to use it also so that i can get what i actually want okay 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 and also green that's green green color here but it's a bit dark let's see if we can control this if we are doing this on a laptop on a pc it's going to look more advanced there will be more advanced feature on this hsl 
okay so let's see what we got let's see. and also there is yellow too there is yellow Okay, I think we are done with this HSL. So what's the next thing now is to come on the brightness. You can choose to decrease the brightness or increase the brightness. The contrast, you can see if you choose to increase it, the saturation too. The B and all these features have what they are doing in each clip. Okay, I can still choose to sharpen this footage, increase the clarity. Okay. Then I can choose to highlight, put a more highlights to this. I can choose to increase this. I can choose to decrease it. Okay, this is shadow. I think this is good. Let's increase the shadow a little bit so that we can see those people there. Okay, then temperature. We can choose to add a bluish temperature or maybe a yellowish temperature. Okay, well, I think this blue one is okay. We are going to be using it. This is home. Let's see. This is what is called color grading. Okay, I have changed this thing to another style. Okay, the way it was looking before is not the same way it is looking now. Okay, okay, now this is where this is the main part of this color grading, which is this graph. So I'll click on graph, it's a bit tricky to use, but you are going to get used to it when you start using it okay in this graph is where you get to color grade your views whether you want it to look like you shot this in the evening or you want it to look like you shot it in the night this is where it lies okay so uh, let me edit a little bit Once it reaches my standard, I'm going to stop. Okay. Okay, I think this is good. Yeah. I think this is good. Okay, this is all for color grading. Okay. There are still other ways, other, other, depending on the type of color grading you want. I just want this to look like on a normal evening a little bit evening like between afternoon and night so that is what i want this footage to be. but assuming now i want it to look like it was shot on in a night in a night sim. okay i can choose to color grade this a little bit to make it more darker so that it will look like it was shot in the night okay that is the work of color grading all right so i think this is good this is good so I don't want to waste my time on this. You can see how it looks like. So let's try comparing both of them. This is how it was. Okay. This is how it was before both the color grading and color correction. Okay. Now this is how it is. Now this is how it is now that it has been color graded. Okay. So let's watch this a little bit so you can see. Okay. There's a difference between color correction and color grading, which people say find it difficult to differentiate. Color correction is simply adjusting the colors of your videos to look real, while color grading is adding styles or modes to your footage. So this will lead us to our next step, which is color matching. And I feel like a lot of people are neglecting this, but this is the most important part in your editing. Yeah. Color matching is just creating a constant color of your footage. I mean, when you shot a video in a different scene with different cameras and different weathers, different angles, you, you got to color grade those footage in order to make it look the same. Yeah. So this is the particular video and this is another video. Now I want this first video to look like the one on the second part. That is color matching. So let's open our cap course right now so that you understand what I actually meant. And I'm going to still use this footage, this footage here to experiment because I'm going to save this particular one. I'm going to use the first raw one that we didn't color grade in the next tutorial. So let me save this particular one. 
okay yeah it's saved it's saved okay so i'll click on the boot clip i'll click on the first clip that we shot on the raw clip that we used on the first time i will input it okay let me repress this because i don't like editing my clips in the main clip so i want it to be as an overlay as i edit so let me duplicate this and add it as an overlay Okay, yeah, this is the footage right now. So I'm going to use the other one that we have color graded. I'm going to color match both of them. Okay, so this is a small part of the one we shot on raw. I click on add overlay and I'm going to locate the video that we have edited. Okay, this is a clip here. This is a clip. So let me click on basic and then reset it so that it will fill the screen. Okay. Okay. So this is the one that was raw and this is the one that you have color graded. So I'm going to color match the first footage with the second one that you have already color graded. So all I have to do right now, I'll click on the, the clip that I want to color match with the other one. And I'm going to look at this option adjust. You will see this option color match okay but if you are not in the pro version of CapCut, you might not be able to access this feature but i said before if you want to get the CapCut pro for free i'll be dropping my number in the comment section so that you can interact on whatsapp and i will send you this app okay and it's free yeah it's free so i'll click on color match okay and then i'm going to scroll this left to to locate the one that i have color graded okay you can see this is the one that i have color graded so i'll click on apply so that they will look the same okay so let's see the magic let's see the magic okay this is how it looks like and this is the other one okay let me just increase this to the normal revolution okay okay so this is the one that you have color matched with this particular one the difference between this and that is that this one have um so this one have clarity and it also have sharpening and some features that cannot be applied to this particular one so what this does is that it will help you to get the accurate color grading then you can now apply other enhancing features to this footage so let's do it so fast let's do it faster <coughs> so i click on sharpening let's sharpen it a little bit okay let's color match and also i think this one too okay i think we have gotten the color oh a little bit we are a little bit closer to it okay this one was on yellow and this one is on blue so let's just click on temperature and then put it as yellow I think we have gotten it okay can you see the difference a little bit different from this one I think maybe it's the color so let me just color grade them okay okay i think we got that right yeah we got it right so you can see this first footage have looked exactly like the second one okay so let me save it so that we can compare between these two clips so in summary of everything color correction means adjusting a footage or a clip to look natural color grading is adding vibes and modes to the video maybe if you want it to look like it was shot in the evening or in the night or in the morning that is color grading okay color matching is simply adjusting a footage or a clip to have constant color do wait to drop your thoughts in the comment section tell me the next tutorial you want me to do and i would be glad to do that so do wait to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification so that you get notified anytime we post another video